Hey guys, um, I'm making this video because there's it's no joke that software engineering is a super lucrative career and um, I think there's a lot of questions about how much money a software engineer could actually make. So I'm going to just drop this video to um, give you the most accurate information that I could find online and based on my personal experience talking to my friends who also work in the tech industry um, in various areas like New York, San Francisco, Seattle, um, Chicago, and etc. So um, in this video, I'm going to break it down, like how can you make, how much can you make as a software engineer, as well as the different compensation styles in different areas based on your location. So there's different industries in software engineering and different prices per location. So when I think of industry, I mean different verticals like big tech, finance, um, trading, and startups. And for some companies, there are different compensation bands like U.S. National, U.S. Premium, U.S. Premium Plus, and more. And each band has a different pay compared to other bands. Like for example, U.S. Premium Plus might pay 25% more than U.S. National. And this is usually the meaning of um, high cost of living areas. These different areas are usually covered in a different pay band than lower cost of living areas. So high cost of living areas are typically New York and San Francisco Bay Area. Um, otherwise, there are US premium areas which cover other, other cities such as Boston, Seattle, Chicago, Washington DC, and more. Not only are there different pay regions, but there are also different subcategories within software engineering. So for example, big tech is one category. So a generalist software engineer at a FANG company, which stands for Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, Netflix, um, are compensated in a structure that's base, stock, and bonus. Um, so if you watch any of my other videos, such as my breaking down my salary video, you would know about these different pay, uh, pay areas. So um, these companies will generally um, think of their comp as total compensation. This is the sum of all the different parts of it. And the total comp uh, for these companies can touch around 200K for new grads based on data from Levels FYI. If you don't know about Levels FYI, it's a free website that crowdsources salary data and um, presents it in an easy to digest way. It's super up to date and it's probably the most accurate you can get for software engineering salaries on the internet. Um, these companies will also continue, uh, has, these companies have different uh, ladder tiers, so as you become a more experienced software engineer, your ladder tier, tier will increase, and it would also increase your total compensation. So another area that I think deserves its own category is hedge funds and finance. So these firms are usually cash and bonus. They're super bonus heavy and have a really high salary compensation. So these firms are typically Hudson River Trading, Citadel, Jane Street, Two Sigma, and Jump Trading, and more. And these firms typically take new grads, which are fresh out of college, and there are two major pathways into this company. Um, you can either be a generalist SWE or quant dev, and both uh, quant devs are typically math heavy, whereas generalist SWEs will either be low latency or systems focused, back end focused. Um, and these firms can typically pay upwards of 300k for a new grad. So usually, um, taking one example, Citadel, their bonus is typically 105% of your base. So for a new grad, they may offer a 180k base, and they would give a bonus of upwards of 185 to 190k per year. Generally, these firms are a little bit more competitive to get into compared to big fan companies because they have a smaller company size, therefore they are more selective when they choose people. The last sort of vertical that um, I think deserves to be called out are high growth startups. So these are usually late, uh, late stage startups that are getting close to IPO. And this changes as times change and trends change. In the last few years, these companies were companies like Instacart, Stripe, Uber, Lyft, Scale AI, and more. Um, these companies will generally give out mostly stock-based compensation because they don't want to give out high base since they're typically not profitable. And usually um, you'll get rewarded in either RSUs or options, and you'll get them for cheaper than um, they would have been at IPO. Um, I've seen crazy offers here for upwards of 500K for a mid-level engineer, even a million from some startups 
for these these companies also take new grads and their offers are very competitive with fame level companies now um, so offering around 200 maybe more um, 250k for a new grad software engineer now that we talked about the different sections of software engineering, we should look at some real pricing data. So I'm going to open up Levels FI, which is a crowdsourced salary website that real people submit their offers to the website, and that's where you can get as much information as you want about software engineering salaries per region. So looking at New York City, we can see the median income is about 188k, with 250k being the top 75 percentile and 342k being the 90th percentile. This is a high cost of living area, so the comp will generally be higher here than other places. And the Bay Area, uh, the max range is 606k, um, which is uh, more than half a million. If we go to the SF Bay Area, we can see the median comp is 232K, with the 75 percentile being 315K, and the uh, 90th percentile being 425K. The max in this area is 700K plus, and since San Francisco is part of Silicon Valley, they'll generally have higher paid software engineers since the competition for software engineers there is more competitive. Therefore, they bump salaries up and software engineers get paid very handsomely there. Lastly, to have one more data point, let's look at LA and we can see the median income is 171k with 75 percentile being 230k and 90th percentile being 320k. The max here is 570k, which is also very high. Now usually this pay scale will change based on your experience and your scope. As you grow as a software engineer, the scale of the systems that you work on will grow as well as the number of direct reports that will manage and the size of your teams. As you enter senior and leadership positions, you'll likely have a significant, um, you'll be in charge of a significant system in a larger organization and this will ultimately bring your pay up because the skills that you're uh, acquiring are harder to get. So that's it. Thank you for, this, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed learning about salary ranges or you um, enjoyed learning about the different areas of software engineering, smash that like button, hit that subscribe. Um, it helps me sort of uh, get feedback on um, what you guys like and what videos perform well, as well as it helps the algorithm put this video in front of other people that might enjoy it. So that's all for now. Peace out and much love.